Hey you guys, Erin and Max here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. <laughs> so we've been getting a lot of questions as of late as to what is in our refrigerator. So we're gonna take you through our plant-powered fridge tour. We are locked and loaded, fully stocked. Dusty just went to the grocery store yesterday. So we figured it'd be the perfect time to show you guys how we stock up and go an entire week without going back to a grocery store. Quick disclaimer, our Whole Foods will no longer let us bring our reusable produce bags or any reusable totes of any sort due to COVID and the spread of the virus. So we're gonna try our best to reuse our plastics as much as possible. So you will see a lot of plastic in the fridge, but that's why. So I'll take you through the doors first. So up here on top, we have all of our supplements. So this is actually something that's made locally. It's called Fire Cider. It's by Spiritus Vitae Botanicals. So it's got apple cider vinegar, garlic, onion, all kinds of goodies in there for boosting your immune system. Then we've got elderberry syrup. Great if you feel a cold or cough or flu coming on. Our Sun Warrior Omega-3s. We absolutely love this Omega-3 brand and all Sun Warrior products. As usual, you'll find it in our link in the description where you can get 20% off with code EATMOVEREST. And then probiotics, absolutely love taking that every morning. We'll have it linked below as well. All of these supplements, anything that is a product you can find on Amazon. This is something we just got from Max. This is a vegan baby DHA supplement. So Max loves to take that. He's really great about taking his supplements. Next shelf, we always have carbonated water on hand. Usually we would use our soda stream, but it just pooped out on us. So we've been loving these Topo Chicos. Right here, we've got raw whole Brazil nuts. We take one a day for a boost in selenium. I always reuse our Ziplocs when I can. Usually we have a big chunk of ginger and turmeric in here. So when I slice them and throw them in our smoothies every morning, I'll just hang on to the extra, use it throughout the week. Bottom shelf here, we have flax seeds for blending into smoothies. Fantastic source of omega-3 fatty acids. All you need is one tablespoon to get your daily dose. Hemp hearts, I really love to eat them just as is because I love their chewy texture. So I'll sprinkle those on top of toast or smoothie bowls. Hi, bud. So the reason why we keep some of our nuts and seeds and even supplements in the refrigerator is especially with the raw foods, they can tend to go rancid rather quickly. So keeping them in the refrigerator extends their shelf life by a lot. Moving over to our other fridge door, we're gonna start on top here. So in the back, we've got tahini. So this is fantastic healthy fats for mixing into salad dressings. Uh, flax oil, Max is the only one that usually uses this. It is great for those omega-3 fatty acids. Usually I'll squirt it on like some rice or quinoa or put it in a smoothies even. Raw almond butter, this is mama's special treat. This stuff is not cheap, so I make it last a long time. I put it on bananas and fruit usually. We've got some healthy jams up front. Rose water, I keep it in here, keep it chilled. I usually put it in a misting bottle and use it as a toner for my face. A little bit of leftover red curry paste. We put that in our Indian soups and stews. Nutritional yeast, so this brand is great because it's non-fortified, so it doesn't have folic acid or any synthetic vitamins that can be hard on your body. Shredded coconut for smoothie bowls. Dusty's green protein smoothie that he hasn't drank yet because he already made his own and I made a double batch this morning. So this one's got all kinds of stuff. I'll link the full recipe below. This is our go-to recipe. And I also put Sun Warrior in it. I already mentioned our Sun Warrior Omega-3s. We also use their protein powder. If you guys want 20% off, you know the drill. You'll find all the details in the description. It tastes amazing blended into fruit and veggie smoothies. Moving on, we've got our soda stream bottle for our broken soda stream and then our plant milks. So we haven't been big plant milk drinkers until max. So I'll run you through why we have each variety. Oat milk, because it's the best flavor. So we've done a video on it before. Hands down, oat milk has the best smooth, creamy, sweet flavor. Almond milk is great for baking. It's a good neutral milk. It's low in calories. So I like to use that one for baking and for smoothies. And then soy milk. So this is gonna be the best bang for your buck nutritionally, especially for kiddos, because it's got not only the most healthy fats, it also has the most protein. It's just very calorie and nutrient dense. So I'd recommend soy milk if you have to pick just one. We like this brand because it's only two ingredients, just water and soybeans. 
Max's green smoothie, the little bit that he didn't finish from breakfast, and then pumped milk. If I don't have enough pumped milk from my session for the day to freeze it, then I'll keep it in the fridge and just add it to Max's meals or his smoothies. And then bottom shelf. So apple cider vinegar, this is something we go through phases of. Sometimes we'll use it a lot. And a simple trick that we've shared below, if you guys don't like the taste, which we don't like in plain water or by itself, add a splash to carbonated water and it tastes like kombucha. It's so much better. And the rest of these are just condiments. We've got organic ketchup, taco seasoning we don't use, and a couple different types of soy sauce. In fact, I'm gonna dump this, recycle it right now. All right, now we're gonna get into the meat of it, or I guess the lack thereof. Yeah. <laughs> this is primarily what we shop for and eat throughout the week is our whole foods because we are whole foods plant-based. Top shelf, my favorite shelf is fully stocked with berries. So strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. We've got some leftover date paste. So I usually blend a bunch when I blend it because it does take some time and I use it for baked goods like banana bread and muffins. I've got those linked in the description. Chopped pineapple, so I always chop a whole pineapple and keep it on hand for our green smoothies or just eat fresh. Right here, I recently got a tropical fruit shipment from Miami Fruit, so I've got some mame sapote. It is hands down my favorite fruit. It's like a fruity sweet potato. You'll have to look it up. I'll put them in the link below. My other favorite is soursop. It's kind of like a sweet and sour, like custard. It's super creamy and good. Far back on the top shelf, I've also got a bulk box of fresh dates, again, for blending and baking and just for eating and enjoying on their own, as well as some super, super ripe brown bananas for baked goods. On this shelf, we've got all kinds of goodies to make rainbow salads with. Our favorite leafy greens for salads would be arugula and baby kale, so we always buy one of those each week and usually mix them in along with some chopped romaine. These are really handy. You guys can snag some of these on Amazon. So this is a pepper keeper, lemon keeper, because we don't always finish all of them every day. Far back, we've got our herbs. So we always keep parsley and cilantro. They're our go-tos for salads and for juicing and blending. So we always keep them in a vase of water. You just bring them home like you would a bunch of flowers, clip the ends and drop them in some filtered water and they keep for literally maybe like two weeks. We've got lots of bell peppers of all colors on hand as well as green and purple cabbage. Those are fantastic for gut health, loaded with prebiotics. So I always put those in salads. Over on this side, we usually allocate this space for leftovers. So we always batch cook our grains. We always have quinoa and rice. And right now we've got chickpeas and black beans, which we cook in our instant pot after they've soaked overnight. One avocado in the fridge, we've got more on the countertop. So let's talk about sauces and dips. We always just use this strained tomato to make anything from curries or our own homemade pasta sauce because a lot of the other ones that are pre-made contain lots of oils as well as salts and sugars. So you can really easily make your own and flavor up your soups and stews this way. And then this is our go-to hummus. Almost every night while I'm chopping our salads, I will be dipping carrots and munching on this delicious hummus. We've also got some mini pickles, some applesauce. Dusty loves it. Max loves it. Can't go wrong. This is a super fun one. I'm gonna have to make a whole separate video for for you guys. It is fresh organic aloe vera leaf. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet it, what to use it for, everything from hair care, skin care, to blending and juicing it. So stay tuned and let me know in the comments. I wanna make sure you guys really want this video. Bottom shelf, we've got more green leafies. So some mixed greens and then some spinach. Usually with the spinach, all we do is we saute it. Maybe if we're making like a tofu scramble or something. And then we've also got more romaine and more leftovers. Last night we had some chipotle bowls. We almost always roast potatoes and sweet potatoes every night. I like sweets, Dusty likes regulars, so we've always got leftovers. And then this is our chipotle blend. We used quinoa instead of brown rice. It's super amazing. I will link Dusty's video where he shared the making of that because it is so good. Finally, last things on the bottom shelf. In the way back, we've got organic tofu. We probably only eat it about once a week. Last thing is some sprouted buckwheat. It's a complete protein, super high in protein and iron, and some sprouted buckwheat granola or granola. Okay, so then we've got our fruit and veggie drawers. This one is just primarily for our kale. So we use the curly kale in soups and stews and also in juicing. We've got two heads of each that lasts us the whole week. 
Underneath there, we've got about five cucumbers that we usually use for juicing. Sometimes in the summer when they get really good, we will slice them onto our salads as well. <laughs> Moving over to our fruit drawer. So we've got an abundance of green Granny Smith apples. We put one in our green smoothie every morning and I also love to use them for juicing. We've got honey crisp apples, which we just like to slice and dice and enjoy. We've got a couple grapefruits, some lemons and limes for making dressings or squeezing into our fizzy water. One fun trick for your kiwis. They're really fuzzy and they tend to make a mess in drawers, so I keep them in a little glass dish in there. I also keep our ginger and turmeric in here and I'm actually just using a strawberry container to keep them in. And finally, this bottom drawer we usually just keep for more veggies. So right now we have Brussels sprouts. We always have tons of carrots for cooking and for munching on green onions, radishes. I love to put those on my rainbow salads every night. And then we've got beets. We love to cook those in our pressure cooker. We've got a great simple way to do that. We can always share a pressure cooker video if you guys are interested. And then we've got about four heads of celery. Some mornings we do celery juice. We've been trying to see how it makes us feel. Other mornings we'll just incorporate it into our regular green juices. We also cook with it, of course. Now we're gonna pop down into the freezer. Up top we've got frozen breast milk to the brim. I need to donate it very badly. Top shelf of the freezer is frozen veggies for steaming and stir fries, and we throw them on our salads as well. So tons of variety. And last but not least, in the very bottom of our freezer, it is full to the brim with frozen fruit. So all kinds of berries, all kinds of mango and peaches and cherries and frozen bananas. So we always keep our freezer stocked with fresh fruit for smoothies and ice cream. So we are smoothie-aholics. <laughs> we are always blending. And I wish I could show you guys a giant stash of bananas, but we've only got a couple left in there. But luckily, Dusty brought home a case. I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what a case of bananas looks like. It's gonna be anywhere from 90 to 100 bananas, about 40 pounds. Go through a case maybe every two, maybe three weeks. We'll let them sit down here in our basement until they get really freckled and speckled. Then we'll peel them, break them in half, and freeze them so they can stock our freezer for smoothies. <laughs> he likes to throw everything and he can't throw the sticker. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> I also like to freeze dates, so I will just put them and drop them in the freezer because they're just so much more chewy and enjoyable, especially as like an after meal snack. And then we also have frozen pitaya and frozen acai. They're both super high in antioxidants and they make your blends so beautiful and so much more nutritious. Usually what I'll do is if for some reason like we're really busy and we're not eating at home very often, then I'll just take whatever berries look like they might be on their last leg and I'll pop them in a Tupperware and pop them in the freezer for smoothies and then same with any kale or greens. You can easily freeze those to prolong their life and use them for smoothies. Out on our countertop, we have fruit that's ripening. We've got some oranges, we've got some little mini mangoes and peaches are just coming into season. So can't wait for those as well as tons of avocado, which we put on our salads and give to Max as is. He absolutely loves avocado. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed our vegan fridge tour. If you wanna see our pantry tour, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you're excited to try that we went over today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't be afraid to join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you join us. And as always, be sure to follow Dusty and I daily on Instagram and all social media platforms at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye, guys. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanziks. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.